If you look up at the sky, you can see that it's blue. But did you ever wonder why? Today's video explains why the sky is blue. You may have tried Fruit Loops for breakfast. You may arrange them to these three colors. But what if I gave you a plate with just blue Fruit Loops? First thing you'll ask me is where did the green and the red ones go? You see, similarly, when you see a blue sky, instead of asking why it's blue, you may ask where did the other colors go? Because the fact is, although the sun appears to be yellow, it's actually not. In reality, its color is pure white. But what color is white? Let me explain white using the primary colors of light, which are red, green, and blue. Primary colors means that adjusting the individual brightness of these three colors and then adding them up, you're able to produce every other color possible. For example, if you add only red and green and don't use blue at all, you end up with the color yellow. Talking about white, if you add R, G, and B, you'll end up with the color white. Now, as I told you the color of the sun is white, all three of these colors must be coming in from the sun. But when you look at the sky and see only blue, colors red and green must have gone somewhere else. Here's Earth's sea level, and there's an imaginary line called the Kalman Line. It's 62 miles high, and everything in between is defined as atmosphere. The sky's color blue starts even higher at 100 miles. As white sunlight approaches the Earth, we can break it down to RGB. When it reaches roughly 100 miles above sea level, it runs into nitrogen and oxygen. Let's show the nitrogen and oxygen molecules as these orange circles. When these rays hit the nitrogen or oxygen molecule, something magical occurs. You've seen a rainbow, right? It ends in the color violet. Right after that, though, comes ultraviolet, or UV, shown in black, which the human eye cannot see. So it comes along in sunlight with RGB. Now consider two different cases. One where there's no UV light coming in from the sun, and another where UV light does come in from the sun. In the first case, where there's no UV, RGB would just simply pass through nitrogen or oxygen molecules because it's a transparent gas. It just doesn't absorb light. But in the second case, when UV light hits the same nitrogen or oxygen gas molecule, it starts to behave differently. RGB does not simply pass through the molecules in this case. Instead, RGB now gets redirected into random directions, mostly sideways. This process of changing direction is called scattering. The reason scattering occurs is because when UV light hits the nitrogen or oxygen molecules, it gets it into an energetic mode, or the molecules get energized, like it just had a cup of coffee, and it gets excited. In this energetic mode, it then starts to emit the same exact color it absorbs instantly in various random directions. If there was no UV, there would be no scattering, and RGB light rays from the sun would go straight through the nitrogen and oxygen molecules. Secondly, how much scattering takes place varies, so not the same for all colors. If you compare scattering, red scatters the least, and so most of it goes through the molecule. Green scatters a little more than red, but still, a lot of it still goes straight through. But blue scatters the most, and so a lot less of it goes through the molecule. And instead, it gets scattered sideways. So when you're out in the sun and look towards it, blue scatters out of the way the most, and red and green rays end up going straight through, not scattered as much. And remember, we had seen red and green add up to yellow, right? So the sun appears to be yellow. Although there is blue in the straight path too, but it's so little that it's barely visible and you just end up seeing yellow. And for all other molecules not in the direct path of the sun and you, blue ends up reaching your eye from all directions like this. Again, if there was no UV light coming in from the sun and there was no atmosphere on Earth, light would pass straight through without any scattering and the only rays you would see would be this one, directly from the sun to your eye. And the sky would actually appear black, all day and night. 
matter of fact, you would see stars all day long. So the scattering blue light in the atmosphere is the reason you can't see stars in daytime, not cause the sun is too bright. This was clearly seen with a picture of the Earth taken from the moon in daytime. As the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, the sky is black. So the serial analogy why the sky is blue is because you start off with three colors of Fruit Loops. The blue ones go and scatter in the sky. And the red and green Fruit Loops come straight at you and add up to appear yellow. And that's what the color of the sun appears to be. Thanks for watching this learnability video. Keep on learning.